say thank you to my subscriber who let me know that he does enjoy some of my spiritual content. And I had said on Twitter that on so Mistress Lala has a Twitter. Um, yeah, I really only have a Twitter. No to jazz. I don't really use it. So, um, but I said that I was thinking about doing a video on how men can support women and how men can honor the divine feminine, um, how, how they can come into harmony with feminine energy in 2020 and beyond. And so with that, I did a video, which I will post that, that said, you know, one of the things that men really could do is listen because they've had the mouthpiece, they've had the voice piece, they've had the microphone for such a long time. And so we're finally getting into an era where women are coming out and sharing their truths and being authentic. And, you know, men are so, they don't even listen. They're just repairing, they're just preparing their rebuttal. And so there's a lot of truth that women are speaking. And so one thing that I would say that men could do is listen. They could also share the voice of women. They could also share content from women. They could also begin to consume more content from women. They can begin to read books um, about women and written by women from female perspective. Um, they can begin by, you know, thanking the food and, and the plants because those are feminine constructs, thanking Mother Earth for housing them, thanking their mother for being the entity that brought them from one realm into this realm and carrying them for whatever time was needed for them to gestate and, and become more mature. Uh, men can also support female owned businesses and whenever they're looking to replace something, whether it be a soap or deodorant or a laptop case, seeing what females they can support. And yes, men can also support sex workers. There are goddesses, there are mistresses that you contribute to. There are women that you can book and support and then tip as well. Um, doing And then also giving to women without expectations. I think that men, they're so, you know, the woman just gives. It's just like we're constantly giving and we never get it back. But men, as, as soon as they give you something, they're like, you owe me. You owe me this. And so think, consider giving to women without them owing you sex. Consider buying women drinks without them owing you sex. Like, you know, because there's a lot of entitlement. So consider doing good things to women and for women just because. And the same thing with kids. And, you know, women are, are naturally maternal and, and, and mothering and especially the female body. And so giving to kids, taking care of kids. Consider if you do give to the homeless giving to a woman who's homeless, giving to a family with, with female kids and, and a female woman um, who are homeless. And the same thing with charities, donating to uh, female causes or illnesses that plague women or um, access to sanitary napkins. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do right now to support women. Um, and I think, you know, if you're listening to this and you're not in the comments going crazy and you're not so quick to respond to me and you're just listening to some of the things that I'm saying that then you know you're in a good place because you're 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 listening to women and that's that in itself is an accomplishment and I hate that we have to acknowledge such small feats but that in itself is a good thing listening to more females and also you know studying sexuality from a non-selfish position so studying the female body and then not assuming because you read one article or you watch one porn that that is going to work for every female but studying the female body understanding what a period is understanding what ovulation is and yes we talked about that maybe in fifth grade in homeroom but really getting an adult understanding of what is going on with female bodies um and and just having more understanding of the of, of the, the vagina and the vulva and the different in the clitoris and and understanding that at a mature level, not at like we taught you in fifth grade and you had to pass a test and you don't even really remember. You just know women bleed once a month and you have no clue. It has something to do with an egg, you know, getting more clear and studying the female body and studying female anatomy and studying female sexuality from a non-selfish standpoint in the sense of like you want to learn how to be a pleaser you want to learn how to be a better male partner you want to learn the body so that you have more understanding of what your partner's hormones are going through and and why they are potentially exhibiting certain behaviors at certain times of the month instead of if stereotypical oh she's pmsing well what what are the hormones involved in pmsing and 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 and, 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 and then acknowledging and honoring the fact that that she is pmsing because if your mama didn't pms you wouldn't fucking be here 
You know what I'm saying? And and so instead of and also catering to your women, if you are, if you do have women in your lives, catering to your mom, doing things for her, making sure that she's okay. If you have a wife or a partner or a girlfriend, catering to them, especially when they're bleeding. And, and instead of it being like, oh, she's so untouchable and she's so undirty, all that fucking Christianity shit, that fucking old patriarchy shit that I fucking hate. Instead of instead of touching it and treating your partner different, like they're dirty or like they're not a sexual being when they're bleeding, actually catering to them and 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 researching what's going on and what helps with what's going on. Oh, ginger helps with cramps and and doing and catering to the woman as she goes through just her existence in this reality in this society. So yeah, I mean, there's so many different things. I think that that's a good start, but you know supporting women and treating women like humans and not making everything so fucking stereotypical and taboo and actually learning what is it instead of oh periods are dirty and dad, I don't want anything to do that what the fuck is a period because if if it weren't for a period I promise you nobody would be here and we can go okay yeah before there were times where women didn't have periods and it wasn't like this but I'm talking about right now in this society right now without them you you wouldn't be here and if you want to have kids, you know, so it's like, why does, why do we make that which creates you out to be so taboo? Because if that's what, if what created you is taboo, what are you? If the female body is nasty and you came from a female, so you nasty. And, 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 and then it's like, so how is it? I, the vagina is okay for sex, but it's not okay to do everything else that it needs to do. It's 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 not nasty when I want to fuck it, but when it's bleeding or when it when it's got something or or or, or, or it's not even you don't know say like when it's actually doing what it has to do when it's purifying itself when it's cleansing itself. Now it's nasty, but it's okay to fuck it. So you know. Men, we, we as a society have a lot of progress to do and we have to begin to interrogate the way we treat women. We have to begin to interrogate our beliefs about women and we have to interrogate why why are we having so many taboos with so with, with so little knowledge? We got so many taboos and stereotypes about the female body and the, and, and, and the woman, but yet we don't have that much knowledge about her. We got all these adjectives and whoo, but then you don't even know how to fucking stimulate the clip. But yet, oh, women are this, women are that. You know so much about women, but then when it comes down to knowing women, you don't know shit. So yeah, taking the time to research the female body. And not just from a selfish standpoint because you want to be a sex guy. Because chances are if you enter in with that intention and you don't enter in with, an, with the maturity and the desire to understand the female body, the desire to understand what's going on with your partner, and then the desire to bring pleasure because pleasure, again, is connected to power. And then the desire to bring pleasure to that person. If you come in, oh, I want to be a sex guy. Oh, I want to be a sexy. Then you're not even going to process the information from a mature, clear-headed standpoint. You're going to go in trying to figure out how, oh, I want to, oh, if they say if I do it like this, I'll make her squirt. And you're, you're not even, you're going to miss all the other information that really would be helpful in being a good sexual partner. So yeah, there's so many things, supporting women, reading books by women, reading about women, re reading about the female body, reading about the hormones that are released during sex, reading about your own hormones that are released during sex, reading about her hormones that are released during sex and during PMS and during ovulation and so many other things. I mean, research and research from a logical, try to check your bias, try to check your prejudice at the door research try to check your selfishness because i know men are good for being selfish try to check your selfishness at the door and genuinely go into it wanting to understand women more not wanting to understand them more from manipulation not wanting to understand them more because you want to be a fucking sex guy but because you want to understand that which you come from and that which has the potential to bring forth your seed again into existence or not more So that's my two cents and maybe I'll be back with some more. Bye.